Okay, so super quick, all the Dalek stories I didn't cover because they're just cameos. The Space Museum, there's a Dalek in a museum, there's a Doctor in the Dalek in a museum in space! How awesome is this idea? It actually removes the threat of the Daleks, turns them into a figure of fun, but it doesn't really rob them of the character. It's just Doctor Who doing postmodernism, and it's a great idea. So in the wheel in space, Doctor Who no longer has new Dalek stories, so the Doctor decides to play an old one for Zoe on the wall of the TARDIS so she can see what their travels are like. It's a great idea to include Daleks in the series even though we're not getting any new stories, it gives us a summer rerun, and it's the only time that a rerun is addressed in the continuity of the show. It's kind of mind-blowing in terms of meta, and it was the first full Doctor Who repeat, so hey, good stuff. War Games, it's pretty simple. The Doctor shows the Time Lords a Dalek to show them that there's scary things in the universe. Meanwhile, in the Mind of Evil, the Doctor sees a Dalek because there's scary things in the universe. In Frontier in Space, it turns out that the Daleks are behind the Master's plan to destabilise the governments of Earth and Draconia and drive them into war. This leads into Planet of the Daleks, which unfortunately forgets about all that in exchange for making 10,000 Daleks invisible. In the unfinished production Sharda, which is soon to be animated on DVD, there's a Dalek in a Time Lord prison, which makes you wonder, what did this Dalek do that was so bad to end up in prison? This one single Dalek? I mean, did it say that Nazis were bad on Twitter? In Logopolis, as the Doctor prepares to fall to his death, he sees many enemies, including a Dalek, and he's probably trying to come to terms with the fact that he's about to die surrounded by a bunch of kids he's just met. In Mordred Undead, the Brigadier has lost his memory, but as it comes back to him, he sees a vision of a Dalek, which raises the question, was he ever even within 10 metres of one? I honestly can't remember. The Five Doctors. It wouldn't be a 20th anniversary celebration without the most beaten up, decrepit Dalek prop bothering Carol Ann Ford and a William Hartnell impersonator. Nice corridors, though. The Telly Movie. Terrible Dalek voices. Next. The Waters of Mars has a really nice Dalek cameo, setting up the fact that, as much as the Doctor is willing to change the timeline in this story, even the Daleks have principles when it comes to time travel. The Beast Below features a brief glimpse of a Dalek to set up for a really great cliffhanger, which is then spoiled seconds later by the next time trailer. In the Pandorica Opens and the Big Bang, the Daleks have a significant role, but really they could have been any other monster. The Stone Dalek does get a really nice scene with River though. In The Wedding of River Song, we have a great example of how the new series sometimes uses the Daleks just to make the universe feel bigger. The Doctor doesn't have to encounter the Daleks as part of a big plan, he can just come across a Dalek ship, and it does make things feel a bit more whole. In Day of the Doctor and Time of the Doctor, we do see the Daleks as a major military force, but in each case, the story's not really about them. In one, it's about the Doctor coming to terms with what he did during the Time War, and in the other, about the Doctor defending a planet. Again, could have really been any monster, but I'm glad it is the Daleks. In Death in Heaven and Hell Bent, two Peter Capaldi finales, Daleks turn up to remind us of story arcs within the season. It's pretty standard. Finally, the pilot borrows footage from the earlier trailer, Friend from the Future, with the Doctor and Bill discussing Daleks. Once again, they're not the main focus of the story, but it's nice to see, again, that little bit of universe building, and the Daleks fighting the Mavellans, the Mavellans are back, but they're not really the main part of the story. Pretty cool to see Heather blow one up as well. Okay, I think that covers all the Dalek cameos. If I missed one on screen, please let me know down in the comments. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and come back in two weeks for Doctor Who in 10 Seconds Season 9. I'll see you then. Goodbye.